Hello there everyone and welcome to Old World Blues once again. I'm your host Mr. Mogul and right now we are at war with New Vegas because New Vegas just really wanted to beat us up but I've done a lot of the focuses off screen and you might be wondering how do we get the journal to the bottom? Well, as many of you guys have suggested, I should use Khan's commands and I've had to use it quite a few times. If you look up here at the top, um, I've had to use quite a few Khan's commands because everyone that was near us wants to kill us. That includes the NCR. The Legion, or the, I guess now the Commonwealth. Who they're fighting the NCR and uh, Texas, as well as, as you can see, New Vegas. So, um, and as you can see, I granted myself 999 political power, uh, just because at this point we were minus 800. And I'm like, eh, probably, it's probably good to probably give us some some political power at this point, especially since we're at war with New Vegas. Also, uh, because the NCR literally kept declaring war on me, even though I forced white piece them out, I basically used cons commands, as you can see over here, to annex the NCR. And I had to annex the Xi. So, unfortunately, they gave me all their, their weapons and equipment. So, that's why they're losing the Commonwealth. It is what it is. I just want to see what the Think Tank is capable of. So, that's how come we got all this equipment now. I mean, we got all the NCR infantry equipment and fire teams and stuff like that. Which kind of sucks. I wish we could do more things with the Think Tank, but there's really not. But we'll go through all the focuses that I've done already off screen. And uh, address a couple of comments that we have. Uh, a lot of you guys, like I said, said cheat for PP. Cheat for political power, which we did. Um... Someone says we should stop making new production lines. I set them just so I can forget them. Um, just so, for the future. For your health. But really, uh, sure, it's impact, why not? Because at this point, basically through cheating, basically, with the NCR's equipment, um, they won't be able to break our lines too much. Actually, here are the casualties, so 600 versus 1,000, 1,500. Um, let's see. Yeah, actually, someone did say, and it brought up a good point. If we did start off as Mojave chapter, we would have had a lot more time to actually build the areas up here. Like, make sure we had enough civvies, enough millies, uh, you know, workshops, infrastructure, forts. I actually did build some forts, but overall, we could have waited. We would have been stronger, probably, maybe, but we wouldn't have as nearly much manpower. But, before we do this, we're going to be studying the East, because we've just finished up watching the Bull Dance. Why? We create not only scientific marvels here at Big MT, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. We lost 20,000 science, but that's okay. Setting the east, in the beast. To the east lies a curious little group. They pretend to play as the Romans, wearing costumes and having such fun little dances they perform with other teddies. Yet when they hit each other, the other teddies go still, growing pale and still as they fall to the ground. Maybe I can help the still teddies dance. Uh oh. Ooh, look at that. Learning the rhythm, or ride them, ride them with a dance. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached app appellations or applications, just as surely as you must have a title. It'll all become clear. If not, at least we have the technology here at the Dome where all technology belongs. So, at this point, I think we'll do pretty darn well, as you can see here, but let's go through some of the focuses. I'm going to do an order of which I wrote them down. Um, Robo, well, Robo Scorpion research stuff. Uh, let's get this one, too. I don't, it doesn't even matter at this point for technology and such like that. Um, Robo Scorpion research. Fuel the po full power of my Robo Scorpion's arsenal. Very good. And that followed up. I did which one? Ooh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Um, as you can see, we've done a lot of these already. Ah, hanging out in the sink is one I did have to do. Hanging out in the sink. Right here. Sometimes I prefer that my vocalizer is so broken so I can go and hang out in the sink. Mobius appreciates the company. And we'll cook some toast. A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world. Oh, and uh, what we all do is hide our dirty magazines, which really sounds more like a 1990s, maybe 1980s, 2000s things. Anyway, a good day, citizen. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Or, dot, yeah. The commies have eyes everywhere, citizen, and that means they're not just commies, they're peeping toms. Oh boy, please don't interrupt me. Anyways, um, after that, I did keeping the, br uh, the tank clean. Um, where is that good old one? Oh boy, my apologies, apologies about not being, oh, remembering where everything else is. Uh, I did this one eventually. I want to make sure I go through this one and what? I went after another, my apologies. Ah, right there, my bad. Oh God, look at you, you're filthy. I suppose you'll want to clean up them? And then actually I did bitterness against Robert House. Is that Robert House up there to the north? How is he still alive? How did how dare he keep Robco operational all these years? Is he showing off? How oh, great him and his big 
company ah. And then I also did a happy little friend. Mugs, 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 a mug, mug, a mug, mugs. God, why can't I stop singing this bad word song? And then we're going to be jamming with Blind Dio Jefferson. Ooh, we ye dig that sweet music. Gosh darn, it's good to be back online. And then followed up with lobotomite research because we like lobotomites. Noses? By the great static, these lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Followed up with Dolas, or Dallas, not Dolas, Dallas, breath, breath alizer hotline. Breath alizer, huh? Woo, a burble, burble, woo, bloob, bloob, bloob. And watch them move, watch them live. I don't know why, what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It's, it's infected my thoughts. Oh, all that skin and muscle. And then we'll be extending or expanding the radar fence. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside like us, and anything without a brain also inside. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in an American high school, I've dreamed of such security as fence. And as one of you guys did say, yeah, time for a Mentats break. I should have Mentats and just you instead of the other way around. Hmm. Mentats. And then uh, we've just finished up watching the bold dance. Yeah, very good, very good. And now we're doing study the rhythm of the dance and helping the still Teddy's dance. What is a name without a title or suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing qualification, a quantification of personality and importance. And which currently, how much uh, science do we have? 300,000, that's great. So yeah, Vegas, I mean, that's my goal for this campaign. Apparently, the cons are allied to them. And also, I did mix up, like, infantry and robots together here which is a really bad idea normally I don't ever you know want to do this but our infantry is really extremely bad um, here are the t uh, templates I just grinded out a lot of organization or I guess army XP off screen so uh, we got fire teams we've got anti-tank we've got demo teams we got fire teams here as well so it's something I almost never do anymore or I really do at all and throw on fire teams within our divisions I thought though like right now we need more defense so it was worth doing defense because those are really good for defense Demos give you almost 10 defense. Hurts your organization. This gives you 8 defense. Gives you just slightly more organization. And then we have fire teams, which give you almost 28 defense and hurts your organization. So I'm like, dude, 28 defense. Those are extremely good. Extremely good. So why not, right? Why not? And as you see, I want to make more robots. That's the only thing we didn't get from the NCR. Just robots. That's all. I just want more robots, man. Uh, okay, let's use the fart. Oh, hello. Yeah, it was really annoying. Like, I didn't want any consequences, but, you know, with literally the NCR, the Vegas, and the Legion. I don't know why I couldn't say Legion there. All wanting to come kill us. There's literally nothing else I could do about it. Like, can you guys actually win here? You actually might. Okay, you might actually be able to push. Wow, that is kind of impressive. Uh, I will probably set this guy into two. That's just I did. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Before we lose all of our PP here. Um. Because it's still going down. Malvin. Malvin Bernard. Bernard? Like. Barnard. You're not Bernard Sanders, no. No, not quite him yet. Um, yeah. It is what it is. I would like to push up here, too, and then make a kind of a solid front line. So I think that would be a good idea for us for now. So in half of you and hold. Hold yourselves. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, this help if you just cheat, you, you win. Go figure. Go flip and figure. Help him out, help him out. When in doubt, help him out. Cool. And I will like go over some of the comments from yesterday or that include the focuses, like which way we should go very, very soon. I just want to make sure we get this tile first so we can have a solid front line and we can win this one. Because my, that's my main goal for this campaign. Like, we're, there's, it's not a full wasteland conquest. We, I mean, I could just annex everybody, but that would be very cool. Um, I'll get through the entire focus tree, annex New Vegas, and then probably call it a campaign. Just because there's really not much else here. So, but the focus is the most interesting thing to me. The motions, the dance of the Easterners is a curious one. Periods of rest and sleep, periods of motion followed by periods of dance. By learning this pattern in the motions, I can better ensure its efficiency. F for science, F for science, yes. For science, but you know, <clears throat> yes. The rhythm of the dance, ah, uh, yes. The bottomites, my little teddies. I love it, baby, please. Can you just exterminate them? Please. And luckily we have no one else trying to kill us off right now, which is actually really nice. Now oh, head in here just in case. Come on, baby boy. Come on. Come on. Just just a little bit more oomph. Please, please, please. 
But I guess after this one, we can go read about, show them something beautiful. When uh, we all have the technology, all the answers, we can share it with the world. But peace by peace, all will be in order, and all will be like the big MT. Actually, since we're here, these robots, I did not give them maintenance companies yet, which kind of down by me. But here you go. Have a good time. Hurt you a little bit, but not really. Go in, baby boys, girls, whoever you are. Uh, we're still making more millies, which is nice. So we'll keep stacking more millies up. Uh, oh, still, okay, still, we're not even using these things, and we're still, we're still making them. No? Level 3, level 3, 4, too. And these are literally just guys I got right before I started the war, so. Hey, look! No political power! Actually, how much manpower does Vegas have? Baby, Vegas. 15,000. Right of energy? Energy cells. No convoys, of course. Well, that's pretty nice. Well, they're out of energy cells. No wonder we're doing okay. Actually, casualties are what? 4,000? Pro probably pushing 4,400, 4,500 versus 1,000 of ours. Not bad. I, the only thing I really like about our national spirit is that we get more weekly manpower. It's really nice. And that one. And this one, apparently, this one only really affects Nipton, unfortunately. Wait, don't we just... Let's get... 100 manpower every week. Hmm. Well then. Guys, please, just win. Please. Just, just win. Military training is nice. Very cool. I guess since we're here, night patrols, we can throw on some recon too. There you go. Do we have enough... Yeah, I mean, since we got... Use cons, commands, annex, and CR, we might as well. Um, logistics. Chems wouldn't be bad either, realistically. But, since we get more manpower... Logistics wouldn't be bad. Trickle supply usage. Eh, it's not really worth it. That just gives us a slight more of an advantage. There you go. Medx. Very nice. Look at all that stuff, man. Just so many robots getting destroyed. They're approaching 5,000. Fall of tree sands. NCR is wounded, but not yet mortally. Helping to move. They're still teddies. No matter how much I prod at them, don't seem to move on their own. They need the help of trauma harness. By plugging them in, we can assure that their little dance never stops. Maybe I can help the still dead teddies dance. Oh, yes, inject them, yes! Injections! Hmm. And there we go, down in pursuit of darkness into the hole that is PP loss. God, that sounds terrible. PP loss? Jesus. What is wrong with me? You don't want to lose your PP. Probably. Eh, who am I? Anyways. Can we just... I just want to make a thing here. Anyways, screw it. Let's talk about the next couple things we need to do. So, I asked you guys yesterday a couple questions such as, should we do Light Switch 1 or Light Switch 2? And, overall, there is more support for... Light Switch 1. Unlike certain other light switches, I'm confident. I'd just love to turn those lights on for you. Maybe we can dim the lights and have a candlelit discussion of classical, classic literature. Eh, maybe when we're not killing each other. Or killing some other robots. There you go. Good job. Have fun. Telly ho. Pip pip. Have fun, boys and girls and robots. Because you guys, like, yeah, actually, I'll get that in just a little bit too. Oh, come on. We're so close. We're so close, baby. Just, just a little more. Just a little more. We were so close. So close to glory. Well, they actually have 114 divisions, huh? Uh, I can't imagine that them actually, actually actually being able to repair everything here. That's a bit extreme, man. A bit extreme. You know what? Screw it. Don't let them go through. You start attacking them here so they can't move that fast. Fast over here. Or that much in there. Come on. Look at how weak that guy is. That's so weak. These guys are so weak. These heavy combat robots are so weak. Come on, baby boy. Come on. Just hit him a little harder. A little harder. But after this focus. Uh, we'll do light switch one, and then we'll do the gangs all here. Oh, we get another research slot. That's kind of cool. I don't realize we get another research slot. Oh, well, that was, our robots ain't looking too good. Either. Wow, that's a lot of fire. But yeah, use some flamethrowers. You know, I think. We, yeah, we did go with flamethrowers. Yeah, I did with flamethrowers for the grenade route, so or the dynamite route, really. Just, I just want one. I just want a god dang tile for the love of goodness, for the good of Mr. House. I just want one tile. Jesus Christ, this is insane. How many? I mean, they got more than enough manpower. Heck, they're probably even raising subscription. We even took this tile here, too. 
You can help out take this tile too as well. So, lights in the sky. It seems that manually attaching trauma harnesses will be far too slow. Instead, I should use a rather creative little plan. Using the moon as a reflective dish. In order to transmit a continuous teleportation signal to sites within the Easterners' lands where they have stored quite a bit of fallen teddies, we can dynamically and continuously send trauma harnesses under their little uh, teddy bear bodies and ensure that their lovely dance never ends. Let's see what happens. When I started the program, I was amazed at the turnout. Thousands of teddies rising from their dirt homes and once again continue that fascinating little dance they lived in. I'll need to guide these poor little teddies from afar and ensure that nobody interrupts my experiment here. I love my little teddy bears. Oh. Wait. Oh, rumors stir that the Legion's atrocities have unleashed something fell in the wasteland. The dead are rising, led by the self-proclaimed Rex Astorum. The dead legionnaires are crawling out of the graves with the aid of strange space suit agents or space age suits. These wandering dead think they are real Romans, worshiping the moon itself as a deity of, cho of choice. We live again. Dance, Teddy's dance. Uh... So that's how you get the Lunar Legion. Okay. Okay. I didn't know they had a research slot, or a research slot, a focus tree. Well then, I guess I'm going to save for this part then. I might come back and use them and play as them. Um, are we War of the Legion? Please, someone, we're not War of the Legion. Please, 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 please. I don't mind them dying, but like, please leave us the heck alone for now. We can't deal with it. But I think that's very cool. I think that's awesome. Very, very cool. Sorry, guys. If you die, I mean, it is what it is. Come on, guys, please, for the love of God, just kill them off. Kill them off. But after this one, we're going to do the gangs all here. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. So this has all happened productively in the interest of its creator. A sink central intelligence unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. Get a research lot, 150,000 signs? Not bad. Sign us up. That is so sad, but that's actually really cool. I, I need to try them out sometime. As you can tell, but research really doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to go research so much, so. Come on, baby. Come on. Actually, we do have an intelligence agency. I don't want to send you in because you'll die going over here. But you know what? You're replaceable, right? And we're, and this person is... Wolf. Leonida Bartlett. Heavyweight? As well as a linguist. So we'll see. You're going to die over there, sorry. And you're never coming back. It is what it is. Nothing personal. Wow, skill level 5. Jesus Christ, guys. Can you just... Look at those tanks. They're just not doing well. They're just not doing well. Come on, I just want to have a solid front line for the love of God. Just come on. Screw, I'm attacking here too. You five are attacking here. You give them what for. I'm sick of waiting. How can you not win here? Seriously, look at the robots. There's nowhere else we can really push out. Oh, we're, oh, we've Hoover Dam. Look at that. We do have Hoover Dam. That's kind of nice. We've got more factories, too. Pretty good. Sorry, guys. I'd love to right now, but we kind of busy. We'll see about that maybe in the future. Oh, god dang it. Just stop doing this then. Jesus Christ. That's so stupid. That is so incredibly stupid. Why? How can they just hold out against us the entire time? You're going to go in and force the attack. You're forcing the attack. Go, go, go. Either win or die. Win or die. You're going to die, then, if you're not going to win. I don't know how they have this much equipment. I know they've been just waiting here the entire time, but still. They, got, they have energy cells, they got manpower. I mean, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Well, nope, nope, we're not getting involved. Nope, 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 nope. Well, they're gonna lose all their equipment then. It's fine by me, we have enough no, of stuff here too anyway, so. It's fine with us. Anyways, let's see. So the next one, after Light Switch 1, we're going to do the gangs all here. Four days left. Kind of sucks. No, guys, we're good. Gangs all here. And let's see this one done. The gangs all here, my friends. And thank you. Honestly, New Vegas needs to capitulate. This is ridiculous. 100% unfair. Especially when the sister allied to these guys. Then again, it is, it is on a, a historical, so what do you expect? I'll go with that one. Expert health fighter. Yeah, do that one too. Why not? All right, let's get some of that too. Anyone else have upgrades? Nope, that's fine. Jesus Christ, this is so stupid. Let's let him attack us then. 
What a failure. You're a waste and a failure, generals. Um, that's okay, so you're doing it like this then. You gotta go like that. Uh, we have no more political power, so we can't get any more guys. You know, screw it. Get the PP. I want another general. Um, Lucas McCook. Let's go with inspirational. It's fine. Doesn't really matter. There's not really much I really want to change here either. So, yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Nothing for, for production policies. Nothing like that. So, I also asked you guys yesterday whether we should do improved uh, influx circuitry versus Saturnite chassis. And overall, there was way more support for Saturnite chassis. If you if a protective battle is what you desire, so be it. Get more defense, get more less energy cell gain. I mean, even though this one focus on atomic laser stinger, full power, more energy cell. But that's all right. We want more defense. Cause look at that. That's just insane. Did we lose a division? We might have. Yeah, having the robots here is super important though, because they can't really pierce us as much, or at least we can pierce them right on back. So. I know it's not, this is very inefficient the way we're doing it. I know, I know it's so bad, but I actually need more de demolition equipment, huh? Once they start attacking again, I'm gonna attack. Oh, oh, there you go. You guys can go right on in. See what y'all can cook up. Look how look how weak they're getting. Look how weak, and it's still not gonna be enough, is it? Come on, baby. Come on. You do not let these people move. Pin them, for the love of God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we get it. Oh, we got it. Okay, that's good. So, you're, you're useless now. Go over here. Whew. Jesus Christ. Someone saved my soul, because there's a lot of robots around here. Cool. Let the thing go on. Um, not bad. Not bad, but just... Oof. Yeah, I don't think I could recommend the Think Tank. <laughs> At least right now. They're, they're a little crazy to play as, so. You know, we might be going crazy here. And I know I'm going crazy playing Hole 4 like this. And my boss is going crazy too. But, we'll probably try General Tech. Because they're just they're just wasting all the equipment. And that's fine with me. I don't mind it. They're doing resistance suppression, so obviously they don't really care about doing too much. They're almost out of, well, they're out of Securitrons. Out of Mr. Gutsies too. Securitrons Salvage Bots, which is what we're using. Let's go on ahead and see what type of damage we can do. Nothing down here, nothing over here. Uh, but on the left side, we're doing a, wow. Okay. Keep building ourselves up. Fine with me. Get more stuff like that. That's fine with us. Fine with us. How much damage can we actually do as a general attack? That's a real question. We're doing okay here. We're doing okay over here as well. But, yeah, it's this one. But we can at least one win, one win here or there. That's fine with me. Oh, yeah, we'll get the res six research slot. Awesome. I'll go with that one. More reliability. Not bad, not bad. Could be a lot better, but not bad. Not bad so far. I'm impressed with what the military can do. As long as you have cheap equipment, you can do anything. For 19% uh, Desert Fox. They're all becoming Desert Fox, which is really nice, but still. Vault 3, please. Thank you. Losses include up to 2,000 versus 11,000 total. Not bad. Cyber Doggies. Of course, we're still at war with those gosh darn cons. And there's a reason why they always say there's a massacre, a second massacre of Bitter Springs, because when we're done with them, I swear to God. I swear, man. I swear. Alright, after this, I'll grab some compression chambers. And how about we grab some? Anything else? Nah, nothing there. And we're now done with engineering, pretty much. Nice. Peace Conference. Oh, Texas is reforming, which is actually very difficult to take out. But eventually, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Crap. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not dealing with that right now. I'm not dealing with this. I will... Have, I will... Ten days? Come on, man. Come on. Oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Why? Why do you paint us like this? You know what? I'll see you in just a little bit. I'm going to fix this in just for a little. All right, everyone. So instead of them justifying on us, I use cons commands tabbed over the Commonwealth, which is looking pretty mighty fierce. And I'm making them right now go to war with Circle Junction. It's going to take like a lot of months, probably more than a year. Well, maybe not. I can't. I can't add right now at the time recording. Probably a little bit more than five months, five and a half months. So it is what it is. And uh, yeah, we're still trying to kill these guys off. So just want you to know what's going on and how I made sure they won't attack us. We lost Hoover Dam. Okay, and they they, they they still attack. They still attack. They got a lot of they got a lot of divisions, a lot of manpower. They don't like their men. They don't like their manpower. You know, just just Vegas things, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'd like to keep attacking, but we we ain't really in a position to do so. But Saturday night chassis, Mark II Robo Scorpions, Sting the Intruder, my pets, sting them till they're stupid. Oh, we get to wait. 
We get sophisticated. Oh, we don't have sophisticated robot tech. Yeah, that probably been, would have been really good to do already, but you know, it is what it is. I, li I like the scooter bots. Even though I prefer the C22s. Their armor is 25, speed is 5, and defense is 25. It looks really good. 25, 25, 8. I like both. I like both. They're both unique. Um, however, I would like to make an encirclement if I may do so myself right here. If you all could do that right there, that'd be great. That'd be real grand. Cut these guys off. You know what? Just hold. Don't don't even attack. Just hold. Just hold for, for now. Because they're going to move over here, which means I'm actually going to throw like half the guys right here too. So that's the way they can't win. Either way, one of these two tiles got to give up. They got to give up. They got to give. They got to die. Which will be probably a very good thing to do. Vital point. Vital point. Targeting. Very nice. Very, very nice. Heavy incinerators. Do we get anything up here yet? No, we're doing okay still. Oh, would you look at that? So delightful. Actually, we have now almost a thousand spare robots. I would like to make these slightly larger, but we'll have to wait and see. These guys are going to be dying, 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 and I love it. I love it when a good enemy dies. Oh, yes, please. Oh, perish. Perish. They had 113 divisions and 12,000 cavalry. Hopefully, they're just going to rack them up a little higher. Oh, yes, baby, baby, please keep continuing to attack us. Thank you. After this, though, um, overall, so I asked you guys yesterday as well. I asked you guys a lot of things yesterday. Do we do a numerical advantage versus brains to brawn? And overall, there was more support for brains to brawn because we want more soft stack with infantry equipment. We can produce more than enough, but uh, now your brain handed over a rock extracted from me. But really, what we really want to do is behold the power of science. Oh, soft attack, yes, even though we're using we're fighting robots, so it is what it is, I guess. Um. Really, I think it's just the best thing next is just straight up attack. Um, I'm not sure what else there is to say. Uh, go with this one for now. Why not? Because we can. For your health. Uh, can we do that? Can we do well here? Obviously not here, but maybe some other places. You know, that might be okay. Right here might be okay. 65, 40. Eh, that's pretty iffy, but we'll see what happens. We're still trying to make some more guys here, so let's go with four. Unguided volley air system stuff. Totally fine. Whatever. Not too concerned about it too much. Uh, we'll get some cooling jackets next. Uh, which one, is this one cooling jacket? And then we'll go some Tesla cannons as well. So that'd be really, really good. Yeah. And you guys recommend just get more robots. Get more, 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 more robots. Robots out the booty. Nice. Oh, right, did we not get that tech done yet? Oh, there it goes. Cool. Numerical advantage is nice and all, but brains to brawn. Compression chambers. Yes, please. And we're pretty much done with everything here. Thank you. Come again. We're not winning quite there. That's all right. It's just some of these areas are just so densely packed. We killed off at least 11. 11 plus 13 is usually 24. So we killed off at like 24 divisions right there, which is pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Of course, we do have a uh, spy here as well, so I'll keep down some of their entrenchment. They have some robots, but it doesn't really look like they're using them too much. Um, they still have a lot more energy cells. They're slowly losing more manpower. So overall, we're going to win in the end here, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. Then again, I shouldn't be recording at 10 o'clock at night. But hey, you know what? Whatever. Oh. Oh, baby boy. No, you guys go back here. Do not get in the circle, not boys. Do not. Anyone else get upgrades yet? Um, yeah, I'm going crazy re recording this, I guess. That's all right, though. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I do appreciate you watching. It it does help me out, so thank you. Look at all the stuff we got from our allies. Or I guess when we took them over. Why do they get planes? This might help. Alright. Cool. We can't even research planes. We don't even have basic air tech, but okay. Sure, why not? Anything else we can research? Nothing down here. Nothing for vehicles. Oh, yeah, this stuff. Yeah, I'll get, get more break. That'd be good. Okay, right, look at... We're actually pushing through. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Obviously, we can't make any more planes. Do we have any casts? Here, take the barrage balloons and blow them up. Good luck, guys. You're going to lose a lot of balloons. Missile launchers, nice, nice, nice. And... Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay, that's it for that one. Nothing there. Naval modules, nothing there. Naval... Well, yes. Armed crafts. And actually, soft attack is okay. We want more heart attack. Heart attack for robots is really... Ex most important thing, really, so... Uh, as far as I remember, I could be completely 100% wrong about that, but I don't know. Oh, we're actually losing some energy cells. That's interesting. Cool. And then after bronze to brain... Uh, brains to brawn... We're going to do the new Lobotoma gear. Oh, we eventually get intermediate infantry tech. What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Number two pencils? Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. 
chewing on them rubber pink erasers. Not bad. Very nice. Cool. And I apologize for taking so long. It's just this is not how I wanted this to go. But then again, I had I had no idea what this was going to be like. Why are you attacking up there? Okay, you're winning. I, I, I'm not going to question it then. Screw it. If you're going to win, like I, I'm not going to question it. But still, can you force the attack and see what happens? Cool. Now I did ask y'all yesterday as well. The big thing: Do we want giant Robo Scorpions or just some lobotomized field studies? That one and then this one, of course. But realistically. There is overwhelming support right now for study the giant robo scorpions. No, we're not gonna oh, stupid sky reavers. I hope I didn't leave my giant robo scorpion on. That thing eats power like no tomorrow. Better production cost, more soft attack, more defense. Even though by the time we get it done, new... well, we split New Vegas into two. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Well, I accomplished your goal for this campaign. I'm feeling pretty good. And the went towards Circle Junction. Please take forever for that. We only killed off about 17,000 of them. The Great Cons, there's only 25 divisions left. I, I don't think they'll be able to stop us. So, here, force the attack. Have fun. It's They call it a massacre, but really, it's just a, a cleansing. It's a cleansing. Tesla cannons go boom, boom, boom. Uh, we like it when they go boom. I like the booms. Cool. People want to raid the crap out of us. What else is new? Whatever. And we've only killed off 7,000 of them. 8,000 of them. That's all. My friends, I think we've got it. Yeah, I never... I forgot about the Lunar Legion and its, and its existence. Twice in two lifetimes. Well, that's Mexican stuff. Are they doing force defense or something? No, they're not. They're just taking forever to... Hey, 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 guys. You want to help out? You want to put more pressure on these guys? You want to actually win the god dang war? Nice. Well... The one war we won wasn't very legitimately, with all that free equipment we got from the NCR off-screen. But hey, I guess it is what it is. Can it actually pacify the air? Yeah, we... Might as well, right? Since we basically cheated to get PP, but whatever. Man, you, you basically gotta cheat to have any sort of fun with this camp type of campaign. It's weird to say, because this usually doesn't happen in Old World Blues, but... It's always interesting to see what the devs got cooked up. And actually, right now, let's take this stupid infantry out. There you go, you be infantry boy. There you go. Uh, economic resurgence, very nice, very nice. Go right there, thank you. Yeah, my, I, I do some terrible accents here. Goodbye. Hot temperature flame Reno's nice. I like it hot. Who doesn't like it hot? Like hot tacos. Hmm, that's some good stuff. Don't ask me why I think of the tacos right now. Hope I'm not making any of y'all hungry. Oh, do we get the other tech done yet? No, where was the other one? Oh, robots, 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 robots. Are we gonna assist research? We might be. We might literally be things that are out of things to research. So, uh, let's finish this one. And at this point, there's not really much here left for the campaign. But I do want to finish up the focus tree. So, please, let us finish this off. Cool. And I've already used Khan's command so much that we're going to go ahead and research stuff. Sorry, my mind's like at 4,000 different places. Riot gear. Grab some platoon training. Using Khan's commands. But yeah, stare at the, the giant robos. And the bottom of my field studies. I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, I described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on it? And recall the Z-35 satellite. The Z-35 satellite, if driven from a sky and given a controlled descent, has information on it that could be fairly critical to understanding if the Earth is truly flat. And, oh, I, I like this one. Jacobston, Jacobstown, infrastructure receives 10 levels of damage, which means we just recall the thing and it crashed into the ground. I love it. Oh, oh yeah. And restart the X-8 research program. X-8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. Kind of like me. Still, what's a little lost when, when so much is to be gained? Science, yes. Yeah, science is our goal. Not emotional attachments. The X-8 research facility was always Boris's, Boris's favorite. A small testing ground where he could conduct experiments on the subversive nature of communism. Gene splice bad students and live out his dream of being Dr. Principal. However, few test subjects remain in order to keep this facility operational. Boris hopes to gather new, more interesting testing pool for his new X8 experiments. It's merely science, lobotomite. Don't you understand? If it's, we're testing minors, then that's okay. Hmm. Anyways, we gotta do chasing lost students. Hall monitors will also be vigilant. Step outside during class, and they'll make sure you make a speedy jump back to your desk. Looks like some students escaped class a few while ago. Get them back. 
we managed to recover some of the uh, descendants of a group of lost students who tried running from the X-8 all the way to Zion. No student gets out of school early. And we get a whole total of no manpower. Steady Stanislaus, Stanislaus brain, Bronze Research. All we wish to do is continue our research, layer upon layer, above and beneath the floor of the creator until we have our answers. Future tech might have been slack-jawed do dog brains, but they knew this, understood this principle. Out east, there exists a particular experiment that Boris had some envy over. It was the research of future tech, and the hibernation pause. It takes so long to set up a physical school like you would with with X-8. By augmenting a limited physical construction effort with partial mind control through the use of tranquility, lane era system protocols, we could vastly increase the acceptance rate of our program. I wish you would have worked with us here if it wasn't so weird. Kind of like me. But establish a tranquility lane schooling board. Attention students, this is a pre-recorded voice of your pre-recorded principal, Dr. Principal, of course. I am the lord of this institution, where once, long ago, I was a student here. I'm now its omnipotent god principal. We lose 50,000 science, every NCR member. Okay, weekly map power goes down. Well, that's kind of cool. Across the NCR, we begin to set up Tranquility Lane schools. Essentially a mix of <clears throat> VR brain control and partial physical construction. We don't want to take all of their time away. That would lead to our new testing populace dying off too early. No, 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 no. We simply just want to take a few hours away from them a day. By limiting the impact of our research, we can relatively quickly gather quite a bit of research data. Give me the data. And Meltdown House's caps. Oh, here we go. Some worthless bottle caps. Scrap of Securitrons. Oh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot these geniuses at Big MT can make. And they'll last a thousand years. Arr. You're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm or feet to stomp on his stupid metal guts. Ooh, Don Robco. Robco. Ooh, Don. Yes. The unlucky 38. I hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his lust remaining bodily fluids into Jaws. Him and his dirty girl bots. Ooh. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catchers' mitts. So we lose 50,000 more science. Uh, the trade note is disabled for a year. We get the platinum chip. Ooh, that's cool. More soft attack, heart attack, soft attack, heart attack, research speed. Cool. But I think that's going to be it for the think tank. This was definitely an experience in Old Old Blues that I didn't know existed. And I don't know. You might, you, you guys actually have been asking me to play this for a long time, so. We finally played it, using a lot of console commands, but, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, recommend me other nations and campaigns to do in any mod, especially Old World Blues, but anyways guys, thanks for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.